Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Andre Voltini. I am um, co-founder and CEO of Wordlift. And um, <clears throat> this is, um, is a quick introduction to the concept of ontology for SEO and this new framework uh, uh, called uh, SEO ontology that uh, uh, we are now introducing. So what is an ontology for, for, for SEO? I mean, an ontology is a formalized uh, representation of knowledge. So he defines uh, concepts uh, as entities and uh, relationship as edges and uh, the constraints entities can, uh, can have uh, um, while interacting with each other. Um, so in the context of SEO, of course, imagine that, uh, you know, a backlink uh, can be a concept. Uh, um, EAT can uh, uh, represent uh, some constraint that uh, uh, we want to apply to web pages. Um, so an ontology, it's a way of formalizing what we know about uh, the way in which a search engine will, uh, will uh, crawl and index uh, a web page and, and how we can uh, optimize and enhance the, the findability of the content that uh, we're publishing on this uh, web page. So we have introduced uh, um, at Wirelift and uh, with the help of, uh, of a few friends, uh, uh, this new framework uh, um, called uh, SEO Ontology. Um, that really wants to become a reference frame for any AI-powered uh, SEO automation uh, uh, workflow. Um, in SEO ontology, we, we define a, a different concept uh, with the primary aim of standardizing data, making sure that uh, that data becomes interoperable among the different uh, SEO tools. Um, for example, uh, we have built the uh, first connectors that allow us to create uh, uh, a knowledge graph uh, for automating structured data, starting from uh, a crawl done uh, using Botify. And imagine that you might, for example, crawl your website uh, with Screaming Frog, and then you want to augment this crawl with data coming from uh, uh, mods uh, or hrefs. And so uh, an ontology allow us to, to make data interoperable. And so the, the you know, the, the SEO practitioner can exchange data from the different tool and build automation on top of it. Um, it is also designed for helping AI agent understand how you know we want to operate uh, on scale uh, while optimizing SEO. So let me quickly show you. Um, this is a snapshot uh, of of the SEO ontology, um, and so the main class is a web page. SEO ontology is designed as an extension of schema.org. So we leverage on the existing terms uh, that as SEO we are already familiar with that are introduced by the schema.org markup uh, language. Um, so a web page, uh, for example, uh, uh, can have a link that uh, that points back to it, um, or it can be you know a target uh, for other web pages. Can have associated query uh, that are driving traffic, uh, and of course uh, uh, the query can be influenced by, for example, an anchor text. Uh, let's review. Uh, let's review a, a more uh, extensive example where we have again the web page. For example, we have the query, and here uh, for each query we have uh, um, the impression in the last seven days. So this is data from from the Google Search Console. Um, I thought um, I work on a, um, a quick uh, uh, demonstration over here that uh, would uh, allow us, for example, to query uh, a knowledge graph uh, and ask, uh, you know, what are the most uh, rele relevant keywords uh, in a given period of time. And so um, this is a fine-tuned model that it's generating a query on a knowledge graph. And in the knowledge graph, uh, uh, we are already using uh, the SEO ontology. Uh, you can see the namespace cell block uh and uh, and um by by using cell ontology the agent is capable of you know translating a natural language request like uh, you know the one that we have over here into a query and therefore get the response uh, uh right from the google search console data that has been imported uh using using um seo ontology so um, there are different practical use cases that uh, uh, we can uh, leverage on using uh, this open source framework for, for SEO practitioner. Um, as I show you, uh, we can build an AI agent that allow us to interact with the Google Search Console data. Um, for example, uh, we can uh, now use uh, Sound Ontology for uh, uh, 
characterizing embeddings. When we calculate embeddings out of a piece of content, a web page, we can attach to the to the web page class uh, uh, the property for the embeddings and the attributes of the models that have been used for generating these embeddings, so that you know any other application can uh, uh, reuse the embeddings that uh, we have calculated for for this content. Um, so. Um, Go uh, and uh, read the article uh, uh, that I've written on Search Engine Journal. Uh, thanks a lot to the team of, uh, of Search Engine Journal and, of course, to our team at Wordlift, our clients, um, Emilia and Milos, who have been uh, uh, working with us to create the first version of the SEO ontology.